morning welcome back to the channel guys today is going to be an exciting adventure uh well i was planning you know borneo is near malaysia and usually people when visit malaysia they also make sure to visit the borneo as well the jungle of the borneo but i personally think that it should be a travel by itself so i do really hope in the future to be able to um just spare time only for this trip for that trip in borneo but since i couldn't make it and I really wanted to see some animals. That's why I've decided to come here in Bukit Merah, which is one hour by car from Penang in Georgetown to visit and to see the orangutan. And it's like a natural reserve where these very big animals they are taken care of. And uh, it's not a zoo at all, it's a reserve. They get taken care here. And um, uh, basically it's actually inside like a resort where you take a small boat and in 15-20 minutes you cross the lake to get to this natural reserve to visit the orangutan and actually the entrance is really cool and i don't know why it reminded me so much like of the entrance of a park like something like a uh, jurassic park vibe or something like that and i assume it's going to be and i'm sure it's going to be really really interesting and really exciting because i've never seen these animals up close i never saw them in real life so I'm very excited to learn more about them and to see them. In the Bukit Merah orangutan reserve has become a sanctuary for these animals who are one of the most endangered species. And uh, the fun fact about this reserve is actually that it's all self-made. What I mean, or all self-run, because there it doesn't have any help from the government or such, but it only and simply rely on donations from people. Right now I'm waiting for the boat, which it, I think it has like five rides a day and the old tour takes about 45 minutes and then they bring you back here. And uh, I'll let you know at the end of today's how if it was worth a visit. I firmly believe that it will be, but I'll let you know and I'll let you know some more fun facts and anecdotes about these amazing animals as well. just to spread the awareness of these animals to the locals and also for the people that, who doesn't have a lot of budget to go to Borneo yes they can come here too they will have the cheek pads it represents the strength of an orangutan oh, I see. which means the bigger cheek pads they have the stronger they are which means oh, they have okay. killed they got into a fight I see. and this fruit sack actually uh, has a function of uh, developing 32 different sounds which is the oldest one that we have in Okay, just came back from it. Now, was it worth it? Absolutely it was. Even though the trip in itself, the guide in its, the, uh, the tour guide in itself wasn't, it's not really big. Like the reserve is pretty big because the animals are allowed to roam by themselves. Even though there is a fence of course for protection of both them and ourselves, despite that, the tour takes about, I don't know, less than uh, something about 30, something like 30 minutes but it's still very very worth it i would uh, highly suggest that you get an up close look to these amazing animals and i was really grateful because since it was just me in uh since it was just me and my mother the person that i'm traveling with they allow us to, uh, to get a little bit more close 
uh, to the fans, so we were able to see them up close, and uh, it's, it's really, really great to see them. Uh, I don't know, it's it's a kind of emotional, it was at least for me. You get a, a personal guide actually, which is already included in, in, into the ticket, it will explain a little bit more about the wildlife, these animals, how old they are, their name, a little bit, a, a bit about their background, and you can ask him or her, you can ask them a lot, all the questions that you have. And the great thing that I also learned about this is that the animals, if they, if they see that they can provide for themselves, they soon will get released into the wild because this is the purpose of this reserve, which is to help them, uh, to help these endangered species and to repopulate them. So this is the main purpose of this reserve, which I think it's a total of three in all over Malaysia. And this is one of them in Penang. So this was it for this guy, for this uh, trip. But it's not the end of the day that if you want to donate and to help all these people, all the people in the foundation here as well, uh, you have put the link on the website from the donation here in the, in the description box where you could donate online. And it's a great way to help this animal and to help the people help this animal. I really hope that you can hear me today is a surprise by a surprise after surprise because the the driver that brought us here since it's an hour away from from Penang he said okay I'll bring you back as well but before um, saying that to us he told us that his hometown was very near the orangutan reserve and after we get in the car again with him he said okay let's come with me uh, come with me I'll bring you all see my hometown and how can you say no to that? So he brought her to see her home in his hometown and also offered uh, to buy a fri fried rice for us. So he's, he's doing, he's being his guide for us basically. So let's try this fried rice first. Mm. Oh gosh, that is one of... What's that? What is it? Okay. Okay, 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 okay. <laughs> she says it's really good, it's really good. Mm. Okay, he even brought this for us, which is typical here of his hometown. And it's so good, honestly. It's some sort of pastry with, mm, with like shrimp inside and vegetables. But this fried rice is truly majestic, honestly. Sorry for the disheveled look. I'm very, very tired and uh, I'm so hot and so sweated. I want to give a tiny little update about today because uh, while we were in the, in the in the village, I just wanted to, you know, um, absorb everything and just be in the moment. And there was also so much noise. I didn't really have the time or the chance to talk in the camera. Uh, so now that I'm back in my stays, I can uh, reflect a little bit on what went on and what uh, what went going on today. I'm so thankful for the fact that um, I met this driver, and uh, because he not only waited for us but he brought us around at at no extra cost actually, um, except the trip to come back which is really great and I'm so thankful for experiences like this. And this is also remind me a lot of how you just be open um, and show an open mind in uh, an open heart as well. Just be ready to say yes, basically. Of course, always pay attention, always make sure of your surrounding. But when 
uh, opportunities present to, to you like this? Just say yes. Because it's in this way, in this way of making connection and talking with people, not being afraid of uh, barriers because of the language or cultural barriers that magic things happen. And I'm so grateful and so thankful that I was able to visit this other part of Malaysia actually a bit more raw with a, a local as well which is not something that you uh, you al always have the chance to do and it's so much better when you a local brings you around and you can really experience that 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 raw vibe which is what i like this is the, the part of traveling that i love the most and that not always you you're able to experience this is, i'm so happy for today's basically and it sucks so the last day that I'm spending here in Penang before traveling and moving to Langawi tomorrow. So I will say that it's a perfect ending of this trip in Georgetown, Penang. And also maybe a bit of background on uh, the, the village that we visited, on the village that I visited. Uh, it's like a small, a very, very small village, hometown of the driver that brought us around and it's like a small fishing village and what it was very interesting is the fact that we that we actually ended up in this village during some sort of uh, chinese festivity so you could hear for probably from the video as well this loud loud music and there were people preparing a huge portion of food there was like an entire pig being prepared and noodles and a lot more of stuff, dried fish as well. And there was like even a theatrical spectacle, the, uh, theatrical performance but brought by some actors in Chinese with dancers. So it was really, really, uh, really, really great. And it get, definitely gave a lot more to the whole experience in itself. So I think this is going to be it for today's video. I'm very, very tired, so I'm probably going to take a nap um so thank you so much for staying up until the end and joining me in this in this adventure and don't forget to subscribe for more insight and trips and travel adventures leave a comment down below put a like if you enjoyed this video and i'll see you in langawi then so keep wondering